So it's just about 7 o'clock and my flight leaves at 11.55 p.m. tonight. So I've got a little bit of time. What we gotta do before I uh, get on the plane is I finish packing, which uh, I've got my backpack and my camera bag and my suitcase. Uh, pretty much ready to go. Um, and then we have to head over to Park and Fly, which is by the Toronto airport, and uh, leave my car there, take a shuttle, and then hit up the airport. Well, this place is a little fancy. Yep. Oh. Little iPads on all the tables. You get a pay there. Pretty neat. A fancy bar too. That's my gate. And I've got about two hours to wait here for it because I'm here early because I don't fly very often and uh, I guess I don't want to miss my flight but I get to sit here for quite a while now. To watch the planes though. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's like, what, 4.43? 4.45? Uh, 4 something. 4 a.m. and we're going to Belfast because <laughs> the bus is like three hours long and we have to be there at 9 for a tour. And it's cold out. It's so cold. Waiting for the bus. <laughs> so blue in here. <laughs> It's like on a limo bus. <laughs> it hasn't even been 24 hours in the back of the airport. Where are we going? Uh, find our bus. <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> oh, I'm so cold. <laughs> I need to find something to drink. <laughs> The opera. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Do you want to go to the opera? No. Oh. We're walking around trying to find our tour bus to go see Game of Thrones. And we're looking for 10 great Victoria Street. There's 22. Right there. I have sure tickets and there's a bunch of people standing in front of it. Apparently this is our ticket. A plastic puck. Do you have your plastic puck? Yeah. I'm so bored. <laughs> <laughs> shoot us. <sighs> Eric Fergus? Is that what the town's called? I think so. That doesn't have anything to do with Game of Thrones? No. <laughs> Just a big castle. What time did they say we're leaving? we're in? No. Oh, it says on the... It's one done. One done hotel. Done done. <laughs> it's so windy here. You look missed. <laughs> oh yeah. You just got hit in the face by it. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the... The demon baby cave. The what? <laughs> the ghost. Happy ghost. Ghost assassin. And then they came to a fence, they stopped the two caves. How that was filmed, there were two caves and they used both. So they landed at the back of the left hand cave and they stood the beach. It's a cave.
cave where Melisandre gave birth. <laughs> Totally gonna bring home a rock from Melisandre's birthing cave. It's <laughs> uh, a nice looking one. Let's go with this guy. Ugh. Currently 14 miles away from Scotland. That's Scotland. Say hello to your goat friend again. Yes! <laughs> He's so cute. Startled him off. <laughs> I'm gonna get a video of him knocking you into the water. He doesn't give a shit, he just wants his wants his grass. This is Johan the goat. We made a statue for him. Yes and oh it was only in the in two thousand and one? Oh my god. Apparently Cushion done. They had a had some goat crisis and they had to kill them all and Johan was the last one so he got a statue. Majestic. Cold. I'm so cold. Why does it have to be so windy? Uh, There's a neat little island over there. That's Sheep Island. Sheep Island. Carica Reed or something like that. I'm gonna walk across some big ass rope bridge. I'm assuming the rope bridge is down there. There's like a two people. Oh yeah, I can see it. Whoa. Right there. That's where we were. Now we're way the hell over here. Cave down there. Okay, let's uh. Let's go spelunking. Yeah. <laughs> go walk around this fucking dangerous ass cliff area and try not to die. I don't like warning. <laughs> oh my god. That's straight down. <laughs> I'm holding onto this rope. <laughs> There's where we started, way over there. It's terrifying. <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> yeah, so I'm on it, but I don't like cliffs. Wonder of the world. The eighth. <laughs> the eighth. The last one. one. It's Niagara Falls. I don't know. The best. seventh. <laughs> the first. This is a, as exciting as Niagara Falls. I'm disappointed. Some volcano made hexagon rocks, and we're gonna go stand on them. Found a guy that strayed off the beaten path. Right there. And stop moving for a second. And we're going over there. We made it. Let's look at some hexagon rocks. Apparently, this was made by a volcano. How 
we got here. Look at the waves. That's where we were. Can you even see that? Oh, there we go. Way over there. One of the eighth wonders of the worlds. One of the eight wonders of the worlds. Oh. Focus on my face. So we can't take the bus, and we had to be back at our bus in like 13 minutes. And we have to walk all the way over there. And around the corner and back up another one. And hill. around the corner and back up a bunch of stairs and shit. So hopefully we can make it. God, those waves. So cool. <laughs> Look, trees, they were in Game of Thrones, and then a few fell down. And then they made doors out of it. And I'll put a picture of the door in. This is our last stop, so after this, we're going back to the hotel. Well, go to the hotel first. There's a lot of people around there. All these trees. They're pretty neat. Belfast, and we're gonna go home, right? Mm, back to the airport. Well, yeah, back to the airport again. And what are we doing today? Nothing. Today I have archery and projects. And well, I'm doing nothing today. I'm gonna edit videos all day today, and then tomorrow we're going to Amsterdam, so I'm gonna record everything there. At least it's not raining. There's the. Uh, Fitzwilliam Hotel. That's about three times the price of this one. <clears throat> okay, let's go.